And welcome back. We're gonna get straight to it. Today's workout is simple yet effective. You will need the floor. And that's it. So before we can get started today, you guys already know all the exercises and progressions, regressions within, but specifically for push-ups, we're doing a few varieties and we just wanna cover those varieties right now. So we will be starting with the standard push-up. Now make sure that when you're doing your push-up, your elbows go back and to your sides a bit. You don't want them to go out towards your shoulders. That's super duper important. All right, so that's a standard push-up. We'll be doing that as well as the next set, we'll be doing close push-ups. Same thing, you want your elbows to come to your sides and back. And if this one is hard for you, you can always consider doing half reps, two thirds reps. Just pay attention to any pain in your elbows, okay? And then the last variety of push-ups we'll be doing today is wide push-ups. Now, this is the only uh, progression of push-up where the elbows do go out to the angle of the shoulder, but that's because we have the hands out even further than them with the fingers uh, aligned in the same direction. Other exercises that will be in this workout include jumping jacks, squats, lying leg raises, plank, boats, and bridging, as well as a floor scapular hold. All right. Great work, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start with is 10 jumping jacks, then five push-ups. Here we go, full range jumping jacks begin. All right, five standard push-ups. Nice and slow, we're only doing five, so give yourself full range. Try not to let your knees touch the ground, your legs. Keep your core tight. After our five push-ups, we are doing 10 body weight squats. You're gonna to wanna to do your best to have your feet about shoulder width apart. Keep your feet flat throughout your squat and bring your butt as low as you can, as well as extend your hips all the way forward at top. After our 10 body weight squats, we will be moving right along to 10 lying leg raises. Now, he is going to do the standard lying leg raise, but remember, you could always regress it and do lying knee raises. You could always make that one easier and do single leg lying leg raises. But this is lying leg raises, 10 of them. Here we go. And after our lying leg raises, we will be holding a plank for 30 seconds and then a boat for 30 seconds. Doing great out there. All right, we're holding a plank in three, two, one, begin. A lot of times we don't get everything out of the plank that we can if we let our lower back relax or let it droop. You wanna keep those shoulder blades pushing out and away from each other, down into the ground. You wanna apply pressure through your palms, keep your core tight, legs flexed, and breathe. Just about five more seconds. Three, two, one, relax. And now we're moving to a 30 second boat. Boat we're gonna balance on our butt, not let our feet touch or our hands. In three, two, one, begin. All right, now different progressions and regressions within the boat series. If your legs are bent with your knees pulled in, it's gonna be a little bit easier. And a speed boat fully um, extended, that's gonna be harder. Other things you could do to make it slightly easier, you could put your hands on the ground. If you do, try to still keep a lot of the tension in your stomach. Yep, and lots of other variations. Two, one, and recover. And now we're going right into our next set of 10 jumping jacks. Here we go. All right. 
right, now our push-ups this time are the close grip push-ups. Very nice work out there. Moving on to 10 body weight squats. Great job out there, everyone. After our squats today, we are doing 15 boat extensions. That's in the leg raise series. And Coach will show you what that looks like in a moment here. We're going to do 15 boat extensions. All the way out, pull it in. 15 times, extend the legs all the way. Pull the knees as close to the chest as you can, keeping that rhythm of meeting in the middle. Great job. Now we are moving back to a 30 second bridge. We're going to pick the tricep bridge today. Sure. Sounds good. For 30 seconds in 3, 2, 1, and up. And our focus here is that our ankles are under our knees, our wrists are under our shoulders. We're pushing our hips up between our knees and our shoulders, leaning our head back and breathing. Definitely some stretching of the top part of your body and lots of flexing on the underside of your body. Ten more seconds. Good job out there. Three, two, one, recover. And our next one is a 30 second floor scapular hold. So you're going to put your elbows out to your sides a little bit. You're going to drive your elbows into the ground. Use your back muscles to raise your chest off the floor. 30 second hold of that in three, two, one. Get them up. Excellent. Uh, hold. That is. Based on your discretion, we can change it to 15 if you think that's more appropriate for them. We just hit 15. 20. You should be trying to feel your same muscles you would use in a pull-up. Three, two, one, recover. Excellent. And we have one more time through jumping jacks, wide push-ups, 10 squats, and then we're going to take a 60-second break. Here we go in our jumping jacks. Begin. And now five wide push-ups. Now if these are new to you, might want to do a few half reps to feel it out. After our wide push-ups, ten body weight squats. Great work out there. I know you're probably starting to get tired. We are just about to hit the halfway point. After our 10 body weight squats again is 10 lying leg raises. But like I said, don't forget you could do lying knee raises, single leg lying raises to make it a little easier if you needed to. Here we go, 10 of them. Great job out there, guys. 60 seconds to recover. Starting now. Drink water. Shake it out. seconds of rest. It's 
Since you've gone through it once, it should feel more familiar. Maybe a little easier this time, depending on your level of fatigue. 15 seconds. All right, start finding your way back to your workout area. First up is 10 jumping jacks, followed by five standard push-ups. Here we go. All right, give us your best five standard push-ups. After our push-ups, we're going 10 standard body weight squats. And after our squats, 10 lying leg raises or whatever progression is best suited for you right now. I constantly adjust my exercises as needed. Nice work out there, you guys. Next up is our 30 second plank. We're gonna start in three, two, one, begin. Halfway there. After our 30 second plank will be a 30 second boat. And if you're really fried, it's okay to put your hands down next to your sides. Five seconds. Three, two, one, recover. Next up is the boat. In three, two, one, begin. Just do your best to hold yourself there. Coming up, we have jumping jacks, close push-ups, squats, boat extensions, bridge, floor scapular hold, and one more time through jumping jacks, push-ups, squats, and leg raise. Doing great out there. Three, two, one, recover. Good job. Shake it out. Go ahead and grab yourself a drink of water if you need. We're going to start with our jumping jacks in a few seconds here. In three, two, one, ten jumping jacks. Then we're going to do our close push ups. Some people call them diamond push ups, some people call them tricep push ups. Last time through, you're doing great, everyone. After our push ups, ten body weight squats. That's why we picked five on the push-ups, because of the difficulty factor. We're on the home stretch, everyone. Great work. And boat extensions. Let's do ten of them. Remember, you can find a variation that's easier for you if you need it. Nothing wrong with that. All right. Next up is a 30-second bridge. And we're going to start our bridge in three, two, one. Begin. Final bridge of the day, guys.
Five seconds. Time. All right, recover on that. Shake out your wrists. Go ahead and lay flat back. Our last one is going to be a 30 second floor scapular hold. And we're going to go up in three, two, one, begin. Five seconds. Great job. I know this one's super hard. And time. Recover. Go ahead. Find yourself to your feet. And we have one final time through 10 jumping jacks, five push ups, 10 squats, 10 line leg raises. And that is end of the workout. So go ahead and get your 10 jumping jacks. Last time through your five wide push ups. 10 body weight squats. And your very last set of 10 line leg raises. So just a handful of exercises. Perform back to back to back. In sequence, repeated. Very effective short workout. Way to go out there. Excellent job. 16 minutes in and out. Super simple but effective. Way to get it done. We'll see you next time.